Good morning, Sunday, January 14th, day two of Wild Card Weekend. And was there anything really wild about the games yesterday? Now again, the games are the games. Browns sort of looked like the team that was very happy to get in the playoffs. And by the way, people, that's not a shot. That's, that's a good thing. They did a lot of good things. But Flacco became Flacco. Hey, he's a Super Bowl winner. But um, Texans were ready, and that defense looked amazing. Stroud looked exceptional. They look like they're in for a big run in a very easy game. Houston just annihilates Cleveland. I pause because I want to get to the next game and give the Chiefs justice for what they did. They just, again, did what they had to do. They were ready for when it really mattered. Though Mike Tirico has to put down the, the pom-poms. I mean, it's really affecting his game calling. He just looks like a fan out there. And you know what? Just say you're a fan. Because you look... It's impossible to listen to. Let's put it that way. Chiefs do, do, did some very nice things. And uh, Miami, they looked overwhelmed. You saw signs of it during the, the course of the end of the season. They were not ready. They'll be more ready probably next year. I thought two ahead... Uh, a very good season. He was talking about MV. People talking about him and the MVP for a long time this year. They put a 70 burger on Denver. But uh, the, the Dolphins looked overwhelmed. And about the weather. Yeah, it was cold. But that is football. Let's move on. What I want to talk about was that disgrace of charging people a pay-per-view event yesterday for football. Are you kidding me? And don't come out there saying, well, we do it for boxing and we do it for MMA all the time. First of all, yeah, you do. And look where that has brought us. You know, when I was younger and people of my generation were younger, you can watch boxing on TV. Boxing was a thing. There were boxing magazines, karate magazines. You knew that Ernie Chavis was the seventh-ranked heavyweight champion in the world. Find out who's the heavyweight champion now. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. And MMA is a big thing now. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid niche. That's all it is. And there's a lot of money there, and the rich get richer. But a lot of people who are underserved in communities, and a lot of people whose parents, she or he, whoever they are, Go out there, work double shifts, can't afford it. Now, you might say, well, it's just $5. That just the way it starts. It was an embarrassment. It was a disgusting thing. Pete Rozelle, again, we're go going back to the old days, right? Would never have allowed this. And NBC and Peacock, you specifically should be ashamed. How dare you talk about noble causes in the world? And then charge to watch the game? Do you have enough commercials? What did you get for the $5? $10 if you want to get it without commercials. Though the, the football game still had commercials. What did you get? What value added did you bring? Another talking head to whine and wax poetic about the same nonsense? You still had commercials. It wasn't like they were buying an experience without commercials. Well, they weren't getting solicitations. When you watch commercial television, you realize that this is the trade-off. It was disgusting that you charge people. It's also disgusting that you start the game so damn late. People can't watch it. Nobody follows boxing really anymore, except for the real passionate fans. Same thing's going to happen to football. But don't worry, you got your gambling, don't you? And ESPN, pox on you. Listen, I'm a gambler. I'm an adult. If I want to gamble, I gamble. But ESPN and has gambling now? Or at least associated to that? We can get into that another time. Last night's game on Peacock was a disgrace. Shame on you, NFL.